Baudin's Tack Attack by Nadine Blink. For three long years, the Nazis had occupied France. By now, everyone in my village was used to German trucks driving through, carrying ammunition and supplies, to the front to supply Nazi soldiers in their battles against the American troops. From her window, my friend Claudine and I watched glumly as the trucks roared and rumbled by. Too bad we can't slow them down, I remarked one day. Claudine's eyes became thoughtful. Maybe we can. She shared her idea, and we ran to her father's workshop. These might work, she announced, holding out a can of short, extremely sharp steel tacks. Papa uses them to shingle roofs. Heading back to the road, I had second thoughts. How could two 11-year-olds slow down a war machine with a bunch of tacks? Still, I followed Claudine up the hill to a spot above the road and crouched behind an old stone wall. All too soon, we heard the rumble of engines, so we raced to the road. Like this, whispered Claudine. She began flinging handfuls of tacks onto the pavement, so I threw handfuls too. Then, just in time, we ducked out of sight. Blam! The exploding tire sounded like a gunshot. Then another. Blam! Two blowouts, Claudine whispered as we crept away. After dark, we crept back toward the road. The German soldiers were still struggling with the heavy rubber tires. Better yet, the road was so narrow that the other trucks could not pass. Claudine and I had delayed 12 trucks for half a day.